Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these Marie Calendars duos. It says it's new, don't know how new it is, but it says it's new. Um, this one basically has two meals in one. Um, I don't know why you necessarily want that, but you, it does. Um, beef and broccoli. It's tender beef with broccoli and a savory sauce over rice. And the other one is sesame chicken. It's tempura white meat chicken fritters with pasta and carrots and a sweet sesame sauce. Um, I've had something similar to this before. The bad thing is the tempura never gets crispy, so it's kind of soft and squishy, but whatever. Um, I bought this meal at Kroger. It was $4.49. Um, not too bad for a pretty decent sized meal. It's 14 ounces or 397 grams, so pretty good size. Let's see. 510 calories for the meal, and there's your other info for you. Um, does have oven directions if you want to do it in the oven. Of course, we don't do ovens, but there they are if you want. So for the microwave, we're going to cut the filmed event, cook it high for six to seven minutes, and check that food is thoroughly cooked. So you know, stirring or anything like that. So yeah, literally six to seven minutes and you're done. Did it have a pull tab? No, it does. I can say that's, awful. that's glued really, really well. So hopefully it has a pull tab. Ah, okay. The chicken looks like little potatoes in there. You get, it looks like you get three pieces of chicken, quite a bit of carrot and noodles, and then the beef and broccoli. You see it over there. So I'm going to poke some holes in this to vent it, get it in the microwave, and I'll be back. Okay, so here it is out of the microwave. Um, I haven't stirred them or anything. It does say on the back, why choose when you can have both? Well, that's true. If both of them sounds interesting to you, then you can just have both meals. Um, I'm going to make sure I get the sauce stirred in really good with the rice and stuff, because you don't want to a sauceless rice. Make sure you get everything covered in sauce. Get as much of that off of my fork as I can. And this, yeah, it looks like noodles and carrots and sauce and three pieces of chicken. Again, they're kind of kind of mushy, but doesn't expect anything different than that. Um, there's your chicken. It's kind of hard to cut, so it must not be processed. It must be actual pieces of chicken because usually if it's processed, it's really easy to cut. That one doesn't want to cut one way or the other. A tough piece of chicken neither does that one so maybe it is processed i don't know it's, it's really like almost rubbery so anyway i cut them just to let them cool off a little bit so i'm gonna get this i'm gonna let it cool off a little bit get them over the table probably try that first and i'll be right back okay so i'm gonna try the uh, sesame chicken first and i got the the noodles and some carrots and the chicken and of course you get sauce because i stirred it in everywhere The noodles are good. They're um, they're they're softer than what you would get with like a a spaghetti noodle. Um, yeah, they don't have that like that chewy kind of texture like um like you get with pasta, like like traditional like spaghetti. It's more of a of a softer pasta than that. Um, flavor wise, it's really uh, you know it says it has a. A sesame tempura white chicken with a with a pasta and a sweet sesame sauce. I don't really get that sesame sauce flavor. I mean, that's I got a ton right there. Let me try a bite of that. Let it cool off for a second. Yeah, even when I got you saw how much sauce was on those noodles. There's really just not a lot of flavor there. It's not, um, it's not flavorful really at all. I mean, you can taste the you can taste the sauce, but it doesn't have. I was expecting like a kind of a sweet um, a sweet flavor with a little bit of that sesame flavor, and you you just don't get that. The chicken is a little tough. Um, hmm, almost got like an orange flavor out of that. Anyway. Um, it's just not very flavorful. I mean, they, one piece of chicken I couldn't cut in half. I think it's even tough just to stab. They don't really dry it out. It was on the edge, like in the very corner, so it didn't have any sauce or anything on it. So it really, really dried out. What's funny is, um, with it being dry and kind of tough and chewy, actually got the taste of the tempura um, breading on there where it wasn't soggy you actually tasted it um, interesting I think I'd rather really have it soggy 
with a little bit of uh, a little less flavor than have it really dry and chewy like that. Mm. This is very, very, very plain. I mean, the whole thing is plain. Um, textures are okay, except for that one piece of chicken, but but the, the flavors are just non-existent, honestly. Um, so let me try the, let's see, this is the beef and broccoli with the rice. And what kind of sauce did it say it had on it? Um, it just says a savory sauce. So I've got a big hunk of broccoli and some a couple pieces of beef on there and lots of rice. Hmm. Flavor that's a lot better. Um, you get the meat flavor, the beef, you get the broccoli flavor. The broccoli too is, um, it's not that blanched broccoli where it's really crunchy and almost raw. This is actually cooked broccoli, which I like. I don't like a blanched, crunchy, raw broccoli. And even the sauce has a decent um, flavor to it. The, the texture of the beef is a little, a little dry, but it's not ridiculously dry. It's not as bad as that one piece of chicken. Let me try a piece of beef by itself. It's not as tender as like a, a slice of roast beef, but um, I mean, it's a lot more tough than that, but it's not like old boot leather, you know, meat where it's really dried out and tough and chewy and it's more tender than that. It's actually not too awfully bad. Um, the rice is cooked well, it's not sticky or anything like that. Not dry or goopy or, yeah, it's, it's pretty decent. Um, the texture of the broccoli, like I said, is cooked well. But it's not too bad either. It kind of has a, um, they say it's a savory flavor, but it almost has a sweet and sour kind of flavor to it. Um, the gravy or the sauce is not like a, a beef gravy. It's more like a, a sweet and sour sauce in beef. So um, it's it's not bad. It's different, but it's not, not bad. Overall, it's not an awesome meal. It's kind of lackluster. It's really the flavors aren't great. The beef is definitely better than the chicken. The chicken, the chicken if I had to rate that, would probably get like a two because it's just so, so flavorless. The beef and broccoli, um, I'd probably give that like a three, maybe a three and a half. Um, this whole meal, I'd probably give a three. I mean, the sesame chicken, I would eat that first, get it out of the way um, because it's not very exciting. It's very, very bland. And the beef and broccoli, is okay but it's nothing special it's just a like i said it's kind of a three out of five so uh so yeah the overall meal i'd give a three out of five it's worth eating i guess because you get a lot of food for the money but um and and you you know the calories are up there or whatever but uh, just don't expect to be very excited about it because it's kind of blah so i hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching